Okay, I used to be really big into off-road racing until I fractured some vertebrae in my back, kind of hung it up for a while until today. So we went ahead, picked up some new handguards from KTM and I cut about three, four miles of single track, hard enduro stuff and we're gonna rip it today. Those actually turned out pretty good. Like those look better than most handguards. Stop filming me! Stop filming me! That's disgusting. <laughs> Load it up and off to the compound to hit the single track. The worst part about riding in this temperature is changing. It's like 36 degrees and now I have to strip down and get all this gear on. The ground is mud on top with ice underneath. It's gonna be some of the hardest conditions to ride just because it's tight single track, it hasn't been broken in yet, and it's mud on top of ice. It's as slippery as it gets. I don't have studs, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> so sketch, dude. Coming into it, I got loose and tried to like just save it because I didn't want to have to redo the shot. And then, boy, that thing kicked me. The dirt is better than I expected, and I'm actually hooking up pretty good, but a big issue is that half of it's frozen, half of it's not, so you get grip and then you lose it again. It makes it super dangerous. Not gonna stop us though, we're not losers. Gonna just let this thing rip. Everyone overcomplicates it. You just gotta let the bike eat, it turns through the stuff, and it's fine. So we're gonna head to an even gnarlier section with harder stuff, some logs, some jumps. Hopefully I can get grip and not like go into a tree because now with the whole off-road vibe, you gotta worry about those. Wouldn't be a proper enduro, dude. Not a nasty log jam That one hurt a little bit. That one smashed up my, my wrist and my knee a little, but. Yeah, that's not the right trail. I set you up on the wrong one. That's what we gotta go up. 
Take two. For that log, I thought I could get over it. I jumped the clutch and it smacked right into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. You can't pull one of those in every one of these videos. <laughs> you shoved me down the hill. <laughs> Best way to clean up your bike after a long day of ripping is just to do some freaking cricking there, dude. <laughs> Get yep. after it. <laughs> freaking cold that did me in that was the last straw that was cold that wasn't fun Brr, gosh good on filming and riding yeah just when you think you're in the clear for the day with no broken parts okay all right the lawn something happened with that because <laughs> the left wheel doesn't spin at all i don't know if the axle broke or what but you can't win them all i guess i guess i spoke too soon two casualties today four-wheeler and the dirt bike cracked right at the pipe there. For that log, I thought I could get over it. I jumped the clutch and it smacked right into my pipe. <laughs> Look in the clips, you can see that every time I go across like a river, it would like smoke really bad out the back. Didn't see at the time. Now it kind of makes sense why water was getting in there, but you live and you learn. Yeah.